Hello and welcome to Kung Fu Cabinet Episode 7. I'm your host, Kung Fu. In this episode, we will review One-Armed Boxer, a.k.a. The Chinese Professionals, directed by and starring Wang Yu, also known as Jimmy Wang Yu, and Ma Kei, also known as Ma Chi, and Tian Yao, also known as Tian Ye, with fight instructor Chen Shi Wei, who also plays one of the martial arts students. I hope you've got your ticket, Kung Fu fans. The Kung Fu train's about to leave the station. Next stop, 1971's One-Armed Boxer. Kung Fu, Kung Fu! Okay, so what do you get when you combine two hairless dogs, one sack quick dry cement, three tubes of bright right toothpaste, one bag of Stay Puff Cheesies, one Big Boss Cup Ice Slushy, cherry flavor, and two, yes two, watermelon cherry bomb red hot sour balls? You got it! That's right. You get two Tibetan Lama monks, one deadly yoga expert, three Okinawa karate practitioners, one judo expert, one taekwondo expert, and two Thai kickboxers. Get it? That was funny or what? Okay, this is the kung fu movie that started a memory revolution, a ripple in generational time. There's a group of you out there who know what I'm talking about. The One-Armed Boxer is the first in a long line of One-Armed Something or Another movies, but more importantly than that, it's the prequel to the Kung Fu Holy Grail Kung Fu movie, Master of the Flying Guillotine. One-Armed Boxer goes like this. Jimmy Wang Yu plays Lu Tai Lung, student A number one at the Ching Te Martial Arts School under master teacher Hong Tu, played by Ma Kei. So... Lu Tai Lung and fellow students one day get into a clash with the local hoodlums, the Hook Gang. The Hook Gang get their asses handed to them and they run home to their leader, Chow, played by Tin Yao. After hearing about the ass whooping, Master Chow and the gang pay a visit to the Hong Tu Dojo. Then Master Chow and the gang brawl with Master Hong Tu and the students, which eventually leads to Master Chow getting his big kung fu beat down and being disrespected in front of his students. Then Chow swears to get revenge, then hires ten, yes, count them, ten trained killers who exact revenge on Master Teacher Hong Tu, the students, and Lu Tai Long, and leave Lu Tai Long for dead. Oh, and missing an arm. Lu Tai Lung is found and nursed back to health by an old master slash herbalist and his sweet, innocent, delicate flower daughter, who starts to fall in love with him, even though he's falling apart due to seeing his master and friends slaughtered. So, together with the master herbalist and his daughter, Lu Tai Lung begins special training and creates a new fighting style named Chan Yun Do, which is specifically designed for the handicapped, which he then masters and begins his long journey of revenge and sweet justice. And how do we like revenge and justice served here in the Kung Fu cabinet? Kung Fu style. Let's check this Hokkaido of a movie out. Listen, you. Come to the valley and fight. All right. I'll be waiting there. No!
Okay, so an arm gets ripped off and there's no squirting, oozing, pouring, splattering pool of blood. And sometimes you can see Jimmy's arm tucked behind his back. But you've got fangs, inflating llama monks, finger-walking yogis, and one crazy iron fist. And that's only some of the charm. We're talking about a classic Gone with the Wind of a Kung Fu movie. We're talking Star Wars and The Godfather. Jimmy Wang Yu, in a career that spanned over two decades has over 100 movies under his belt that he either acted in, or directed, or did both. In fact, he was once the highest paid martial arts film actor in Hong Kong. Catch Jimmy in Kung Fu movie gems like One-Armed Swordsman, The Sword of Swords, The Chinese Boxer, and the golden child of all Kung Fu movies, Master of the Flying Guillotine. When looking for this Kung Fu movie, you're going to look for either One-Armed Boxer or The Chinese Professionals. One-Armed Boxer is the 1971 release, and The Chinese Professionals is the 1973 Western release, which refers to the Kung Fu experts, the Kung Fu Beast, the Karate Killer, the Siamese Devils, the Tibetan Tiger Men, the Bloody Kwon Do Master, the Judo King, the Invincible Yuga Khan, and the One-Armed Boxer as The Chinese Professionals. Both are the same movie, just slightly different, like the movie name, the language format, and so on. One-Armed Boxer is a great kung fu actioneer with great fight scenes, awesome scenery, fantasy foo, and lots of kung fu magic. We've got the amazing hired kung fu killers with their crazy skills, the cute, innocent, and wise herbalist daughter who promptly falls in love with our kung fu hero, the crazy ancient kung fu training techniques, great camera and choreography work, and, as it turns out, is a double-edged kung fu katana of a basher with a dash of some good old kung fu fun which I like to call Kung Fun. With all these wacky characters in this flick, there's no time or sign of the Kung Fu cabinet's favorite Kung Fu movie character, the slutty, two-timing, backstabbing, can't trust them as far as you can throw them, Kung Fu movie villain woman. This movie reminds me of Don Knotts' The Incredible Mr. Limpet meets Max von Sadow's The Seventh Seal. This Kung Fu classic runs 90 minutes, and I consider it a Kung Fu movie for the beginner Kung Fu movie fan. On Kung Fu's scale of Kung Fu, I give it a 6. A 1 is not even a Fu, and a 10 is a Kung Fu Pow. That's it for this episode of Kung Fu Cabinet. Keep an eye out for more episodes, and we'll see you in the Kung Fu Cabinet. Thank you.